the power of ghosting her. As I pull out of my spot here. You guys have to understand, when it comes to ghosting women, it is extremely effective. And it communicates all the right things to the girl. It tells her that you're a busy man, tells her that you are not prioritizing her. It tells her that you have got a life, son. Unlike most guys, right? Who have all day long to play grab ass with their girl and chase them around and make them feel as if they are the only woman on planet Earth, which you should never do, okay? Because you want your girl knowing that she is with a boss, right? You want her knowing that she is with a guy who is on the move. And a guy who is on the move ain't gonna have time to be texting her 24 seven. Dude who's on the move isn't gonna have time to costly hop on the phone with her, okay? That type of behavior is for chumps. Guys who have all day. They got nothing going on. They have all day to chill with their girl. They got all day to do nothing. Right? And these women effectively just lose attraction for you the more that you are around, right? That's why they have that saying that uh, familiarity breeds contempt, right? But what's the opposite of that, guys? The opposite of that saying is absence makes the heart grow fonder, doesn't it? Isn't that funny, right? Absence makes the heart grow fonder, AKA ghosting. Okay, and um, it doesn't mean that you have to be some selfish jerk who never checks in, never responds to her, never lets her know what you're up to. I'm not saying that at all, right? You have to balance these things out. Okay, you have to have balance when it comes to these things. The problem is, for most guys, they are just too available. They're just, you're just too available, right? And the girls know that. As soon as she messages you, guess what? Message right back. As soon as she texts you, calls you, boom, right back. As soon as she, you know, sends you a DM on Instagram, DM her right back. No, right? You can wait. Right? And I'm not saying to do these things as a technique also, because that's, I don't want to send that message that, oh yeah, just, you know, pretend to be busy. No, you should be busy. It shouldn't be a technique. It should be real. It should be authentic. That way it comes across as congruent and there's none of this like, uh, he's just doing this, you know, because it, because that's the worst thing is if it comes across as an agenda, which it can if you're trying to do it as a technique. This is why you genuinely have to be busy. You genuinely have to have goals. You genuinely have to have other things going on other than her. Much less any other woman. Okay, do not make them a priority in your life. Okay, guess who the priority is? You are. You're the priority. Because you're the one with a legacy to build. Not her. She's a woman. Right? Women that just have value inherently. Right? Society treats them with value just inherently. They don't have to do anything. But you, mister have to actually put in the work. You have to show your worth. You have to show your value. And society will, will reward you, right? You'll get stuff like this, Lamborghini. <coughs> but make no mistake about it, man. Ghosting the girl is probably the most effective way to get her attention. It's probably the most effective way to build attraction because most guys, again, cannot stay away, especially if it's an attractive girl. Most guys just can, can't help themselves, right? Just a little too over eager, a little too over anxious. They gotta message that girl constantly. They gotta text her. Otherwise, they feel they're afraid, right? They, they, they're fearful that the girl will meet somebody else, 
or that she'll forget about it. No, not the case. Okay, that's a very amateur mindset, by the way. It's a very low value, scarce based mindset, by the way. Right? Because a man in abundance is is not gonna even worry about those things, right? A man in abundance has no problem ghosting the girl because he's busy. Doesn't mean he wants to, he doesn't want to text her back or he doesn't want to message her back. You might want to because you feel like, oh, it's kind of rude not to even just respond, right? However, the thing you have to think about is building attraction with a hot girl is a rude game sometimes, right? And sometimes a game that's not very nice kind of get to get your hands a little dirty and uh, in order to get your hands dirty you got to ghost her every once in a while because these hot girls know that um, I mean just through experience the guys are just messaging them all day right and believe me she's not lonely and you know just because she's not hearing from you there are a lot of other guys messaging her but the way to stick out in her mind is by you not being one of those guys because she's gonna start thinking to herself like hey I haven't heard for Chuck from Chuck in a few days that's weird Chuck Chuck just doesn't you know Chuck just doesn't respond to me as soon as I message him you know Chuck must have other stuff going on Chuck must have other women in his life hmm there must be something special about Chuck next thing you know you become that guy that guy right that when you call her She's like, oh my gosh, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's that guy, it's Chuck, Chuck's calling me, oh my god, it's Chuck, rather than, oh gosh, Chuck, uh, should I answer this, ah, do I really want to talk to him, uh, yeah, I could just call him, I could call him next week, you know, Chuck's always calling me, and then she doesn't value you, right, again, she starts treating you like all those other dudes in her life, that are just messaging her, texting her, calling her 24-7. The last thing you want to be is like all the other guys in her life, right? You want to separate yourself from those guys, especially if you're just an average looking guy. If you're not as good looking as those guys, you have to work a little bit harder, son. Hate to tell you, right? Sorry, if you're not a Chad, man, she's, she's just not going to kick open the door for you, right? You're going to have to put in a little work to get her attention. Right? The key here is you have to get her attention. And the way that you get her attention is by ghosting her. Okay, Ghosting a woman is probably the best form of uh, what we call in the pickup community is push-pull or these takeaways, right? Like one minute you're hot, next minute you're not, right? One minute you're hot, you know, next minute you're running cold. You're kind of being a little wishy-washy. You're giving her these mixed signals. Again, you're not trying to do it necessarily on purpose. Right? In the back of your mind, you do know what you're doing. But you're not trying to do it on purpose. It's just you do have other things going on. You have other women you're talking to or other women that you're interested in that you might be putting your focus on, right? Because so long as you're single, there should never just be one girl that you're pursuing, right? Kind of want to just spread your ducks out and then see which ones, see which one, I should say, uh, ends up working out, right? Where she's cool, she's good looking, and your value is aligned, your beliefs align, obviously that will be the one you choose. But you want to show her that you value yourself, and the way you do that is by not placing so much value on her. Right? And the more you ghost her, by the way, um, <laughs> again, with the balance, I have to emphasize that because you don't want to just like disappear and then if she never hears from you. That's not ghosting her, that's just disappearing on her. Right? Um, you kind of want to do it intermittently. Again, push-pull, these takeaways, because what it will do effectively is she'll start to think about you, as I was mentioning earlier, and you will start to occupy her thoughts, okay? And one thing I always teach my students about occupying a woman's thoughts is once you can occupy her thoughts where she's constantly thinking about you, guess what? She will naturally, just by default, she will become attracted to you because she will constantly be thinking about you, right? You'll constantly be on her mind. You think she's constantly thinking about all those Joe Schmoes in her friend zone that are nonstop calling her 
can't get enough of texting her or messaging her, right, nagging her to call them back? You think she's thinking about those guys? No, she's avoiding those guys. She doesn't have the mental space to think about those guys because they're always there. They're a dime a dozen. You don't want to be a dime a dozen. You want to be different. And the way you be different is by ghosting the girl, not being so available, not responding to her messages so quickly. Give yourself some time, right? Give it a day, give it two days, maybe even three, if you really want to push it before you just respond to her, right? But then there might be other times where you're completely available and she messages you and you respond right away. No problem. You just don't want to sustain that behavior to where you become predictable. Because as soon as you become predictable, guess what you become to the girl? You become boring. And the worst emotion that you can make a woman feel is boredom. That she knows what she knows how the movie's gonna play out. She knows what you're about. There's nothing else to see here, as I always say, these girls, right? Nothing else to see here. Done. On to the next guy. With that said, drop your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you would like to share. And I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out. So I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out from my garage with my DeLorean over here in the background. Beautiful car. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it. Why? So that you get notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. Okay, so hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, you will not be notified when I upload brand new coaching videos fresh to my channel. So make sure you're notified as well. And also, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. So make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, because it helps not just the channel out, but it helps out other men. Because the more people who subscribe to the channel, the more men we reach, right? And God knows men need this type of knowledge. All right? And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I am teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is to protect my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut us down one day, right? All of my premium Alpha Male Secrets lessons will be protected. Why? Because I'm paying for this platform and it's encrypted. So nobody can take us down, right? It's a private encrypted platform where all of my Alpha Male Secrets coaching videos will remain forever. <laughs> so, if you want to support my work, that's the best way to do it, by becoming a premium subscriber of my Premium Alpha Male Secrets channel. And right now, it's only one buck for the entire first month of Premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. And it's real easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.